Welcome to Mint Views. Today is the first day of trading of a stock called IRCTC, that's Indian Railways Catering and Tourism Corporation. It's a public sector unit. It recently had an initial public offering, an IPO, and it was listed uh, only this morning. It's trading right now at more than double the price at which the shares were actually issued in the IPO. It was issued at 320 rupees a share and is trading right now above 700 rupees. Uh, this is interesting. Of course, we all know that the share was actually oversubscribed more than 100 times, around 110 times or 12 times. It was, of course, a tiny issue, 645 crore. But uh, this phenomena is interesting in itself. The question is, uh, what does this reflect for us? At the basic level, of course, we can argue that uh, since it's trading at more than twice the price, the government should have actually priced it higher to begin with. But of course, there are other implications too in terms of investor appetite, in terms of what it means for the disinvestment program. So how would you look at this, Anant? Yeah, on the last point that you talked about, about the disinvestment program and the impact this might have, my understanding is that this is perhaps a very small issue uh, when, when seen in the light of the target that the government has said, set, the government wants to raise more than 1 trillion rupees mm -hmm. and this particular issue will raise for them only about 600 or 700 crores. Mm -hmm. So that money is very small. So, But it does to a certain extent point to uh, a slightly upbeat mood in the market. So the point is whether this can be replicated when bigger issues come. When we have bigger issues like those of PPCL, or maybe of Air India, mm -hmm. if we see investor appetite at a similar scale, then perhaps we'll have a very successful disinvestment program. We actually right. need to do a lot more than 1.05 trillion mm -hmm. uh, rupees exactly. this year. So, uh, Shrija, what do you make of this? Is there good investor appetite as you see it? Well, 110 right. times oversubscribed. Right, that's the Tiny point. Tiny issue, but still. Right, right. That's the point I want to um, pinch upon because uh, the ISCTC impact is seen a stellar response, right? Where you mentioned the number yourself. It has been subscribed massively by 112 times, which shows that there is um, increasing hunger among in investors to buy stakes at quality PSUs. But that will only happen depending on the quality and the nature of the issue. So I, I do think that uh, getting I mean getting subscription at such a large rate does indicate a positive appetite among investors. But this could this be specific to the company though? Rohit, what do you think? Yeah, we need, I think we need to take into account the fact that you know, IRCTC is the only entity that's been authorized by the railways to uh, provide catering services to the railways and online tickets and package drinking water. So in effect, it's, it's what serving 1 billion people mm -hmm. with effectively no competition. There's no competition. You're saying that's the reason this was oversubscribed big time? I, I will, I, I'm inclined to think so. May or may not apply to other PSU. Sriji, uh, what would you think about it? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's correct. Uh, IRCTC is actually a monopoly entity. And uh, the kind of response that IRCTC got may not be replic replicated in other PSUs, for example, uh, say Air India. The kind of response that it has got does not really uh, indicate a broader upturn in market sentiment. Uh, it is it is a one-off incident where the issue was very very small and uh, uh, people want to invest in, in good shares and also in the backdrop of falling uh, interest rates on bank deposits people are looking for avenues to kind of you know preserve their capital in general the government i think or all of us seem to think at this point needs to be more ambitious with its uh, disinvestment targets it should try and sell shares to people at large who are looking for investment opportunities and if it's a public sector co company which has a bright future, there's a lot of demand over there to actually subscribe. But the government must not underprice its shares at all. If there's big demand, we should not have a situation where we have oversubscription that just speaks of a failure to price the share price properly. We need to extract maximum value. Price it right, good value can be got from public sector units. And the government, I think, or all of us think at this point, should get going. Thank you.